How's it going everyone? Welcome back to Coxie Tutorials. Where we left off yesterday we had been making some animations for our pistol. Um, I've been looking over it today and I've decided that I don't want to have the animations all separate like this. We can do it that way, that's not a problem, but um, we may as well just have the reload animation and then we may as well make an animation that is just all of these animations. Um, for shooting and then maybe just make an idle animation it will probably be a lot um, easier if we need to animate a certain part of the gun for some reason these will come in really handy so I'm going to leave them and what we'll quickly do um, I'll do this as fast as possible because we did animation yesterday but we will animate the um, pistol to do a complete shoot animation okay so click on pistol go to our animation window create a new clip make sure you save it in the right folder and I'll call it shoot so we've got our shoot animation now go to scene so we can see our pistol and select it and um, add a property and yeah we'll do the trigger first because that is gonna going to pull the trigger which is going to start all the other um, animations so I'm going to select my trigger I'm going to add a property um, I'm going to find the trigger here and it's transform and it's rotation and I'm going to select pivot and pretty much straight away maybe even sooner than that I'll do it there we can always speed the animation up if you want to so Rotate the trigger. Hang on a minute. Make sure that we turn the animator on. I always forget. Rotate the trigger. And then once the trigger's rotated, straight after that, the next frame, um, then we want the hammer to do something. So hammer add property, find the hammer and this is also rotation so the hammer should come back and then about here um, Yep, I didn't start the animation again. Make sure you uh, press the record button so your keyframes actually appear. And then at about 10 here, I want this hammer to come back. So if we go to the start of the sequence, we can see that this is the hammer's rotation. So if I go to 10, I can actually paste that in. So the trigger's getting pulled, the hammer's going back. Um, as the trigger's getting pulled, we don't want the hammer to go back yet. So what I'm going to do is on the... Um, Yeah, this is where the trigger gets pulled. Oh, that's fine. That's fine. We'll leave it like that. So as the trigger's getting pulled, the hammer's going back, which makes perfect sense. Then the hammer strikes the bullet, and we want the slide to go back. So select the slide. What am I doing? Add property, find the slide, uh, the position, don't need pivot, doesn't matter, and we want this slide to go back like so. I can bring this whole bit back to about 20 now. We'll just check, see it's okay, so the slide's starting to go back straight away which we don't want 
we don't want the slide to go back until the hammer strikes a bullet so here I'm going to there's my slide there I'm going to make sure that the slide is still there also here I'm going to make sure and also here okay and then the slide should start coming back after here okay that's better so you have Slides also trying to come back here. It's not going to be noticeable really, it's going to be so fast. Yeah, that'll be fine. I'll just leave out that for now, you can adjust yours, but um, that will be absolutely fine. So, yeah. Right, now I'll quickly make the um, idle animation. Create new clip. Idle. And this is going to be really basic. Transform position. Going to scroll my mouse wheel back so it can be a longer animation. Four. And then at about two seconds, I'm just going to slightly move the pistol up. That's it. You can, uh, hang on a minute. I'll just make sure I press record. Move the pistol slightly up. And that will be my idle animation. You can do whatever you want. Okay, so now we should have in our animator, we've got our shoot our idle and our reload. I'm not going to go over how to use everything in the um, animator again. I've, I've done it before but basically um, what we're going to do is we're going to make idle our default animation. So right click it, set layer as default state so it's orange. So the first animation it goes to is going to be the idle one and then we're going to need to make some parameters. So you've got layers, parameters, choose parameters, trigger shoot and then make another trigger and this one can be reload and then from any state right click and make a transition to shoot right click make a transition to reload and then do the same from reload to idle and shoot to idle and click on the transition between any state and reload and make sure under conditions it's set to reload and for shoot, the condition is set to shoot. And then from shoot to idle, it has to have an exit time because we're coming from a trigger to another animation. And I'm just going to set it to zero and turn off uh, fixed duration. Do the same for reload. We can always adjust this if we need to. I'm going to control S to save. And that's basically set up to be... Um, used in the script. So if you select pistol and go to animation and then it's on idle now if we go to the shoot animation I'm going to call um, some things from the script using the events that I talked about in the last tutorial so this is a good opportunity to be able to do this so let's go into the um, pistol script and we're going to need to access the, um, the animator so we need a reference to the animator so if we write animator and just call it anim we've done this before and then in start anim equals get component animator okay and we want to call the um, shoot animation from our shoot function, obviously. Uh, time.time is next fire. Uh, here, 
you can add in next fire equals zero F if you want. So we reset the um, the timer back to zero each time. It'll still work if you don't do that, but you can do that. So here we will call the um, animation anim equals ah, what am I doing anim dot set trigger um, shoot. And so we've got the um, the shooting um, audio here, and we're deducting one bullet, which is fine. And then we're calling the uh, coroutine the weapon effects, which is the muzzle flash and bullet casing. We're going to need to change this because I want to call these effects at the right time. So I want to call the muzzle flash when the trigger's pulled. Um, actually, we'll we'll call the um, we'll call the gunshot audio as well at the same time the muzzle flash and the gun audio and then the bullet casing when the slide comes back so we'll change this and we'll call this um, we'll call this I enumerator uh, pistol sound and muzzle muzzle flash and We'll get rid of it here. Just tidy that up. And then we will do another I enumerator and call this eject casing. So make sure we remove the uh, bullet casing from this one. And then we can just say, uh, oh, I should have just, hang on. Sorry, I'm really lazy. Um, get rid of that muzzle flash bit. Okay, there we go. So, get rid of the bullet casing from there. Get rid of the bullet casing from there. We just want the muzzle flash. And we also want to call the sound there, so grab this, and cut that out, and control V, just put that there, control S to save. So now when we shoot, we're calling the animation, we're calling the animation here, which will then have these two. Um, IE numerators called which I'll show you how to do now. So if you go to the animation, it's our pistol, make sure we're on the shoot and we're selected on the pistol. Um, start the animation, get to the pistol, hammer, hammer goes forward there. it goes back okay so this is about the point that we want the muzzle flash to play because the hammer striking the bullet here and we also want the um, sound effect so if we if we have our frame selected here the tenth frame and then click on animation event we'll have the event already put here and then we just need to select um, pistol sound and muzzle flash and then when we get to here this is when we want the casing to come out so we just add another one and then just eject casing so that should work and yeah we'll test it out anyway and see how we go I'm going to I've turned the zombie off. Yeah, turn the zombie off. Control S to save the scene. There you go. Now something isn't quite right about that animation. And I think... 
you go to your animations, go to shoot, and you can see here it's on loop time. Turn off loop time and reload. I've already done it. That would be on loop time. Make sure reload is off loop time as well. All of them should not be looping except idle. You want idle to loop. Okay? So go back into the game. You'll see the guns like going up and down slightly. And there you go. That is um, not too bad at all. And I think I've got the pistol not shooting as fast. Yeah, it's shooting at one second. So if we put that to um, 0.5. Let's try again. It's not too bad at all. All right, I like it. So we've got our pistol um, animating and shooting. And I showed you guys how to use events through your animation. And in the next one, we'll do the uh, reload. We may as well do the reload um, function for the gun and then add the animation to that. And then finally, in the next one after that, we'll do the, uh, the zombie respawning, like I've been saying. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed that. I'm sorry we did the animation again, but um, hopefully you've, you've got a pretty good idea how to use the um, animation um, stuff in Unity now. So, yeah, I uh, hope you liked the video. Like it if you can, subscribe, and yeah, see you next one. Cheers.